Okay, today's episode of What You Think Wednesday is with a key member of the Schoolio team. Uh, I was going to say it goes by the name of Max, but that is your name. Max. That is my name. Well, it's actually Maxim. Maxim no. goes by the name Max, full name Maxim. <laughs> Maxim's our marketing coordinator. Yep. Gen Z. You yeah. Gen Z? I'm Gen Z. I Gen actually, Z. I recently found out I'm Gen Z. Okay, so Max, <laughs> welcome to my, my, my Wednesday What You Think. Okay. okay. Where we pick a side to a narrative. And then we have a friendly debate mm -hmm. uh, around it. And, and, you know, the topic I like to, to talk to you about is this idea of influencers. Mm -hmm. Because do they even matter anymore? And I grew up at a time where influencers were the shit. Like we paid a ton of money, like, like 50, 60, $70,000 to put a piece of content out for wow. some of the biggest brands I've worked for in my life. Wow. But as I look at you know, the cryptocurrency world and all the influencers that rug pull and rip people off. I feel like we're back to the good old days of building brands, hmm. you know, sell a good product, win a customer, get a testimonial, use that to build credibility mm -hmm. and forget all this influencer fleecing. What do you think? So I, I, uh, obviously, brand is a good option, but I also think influencers will always have ring over brands in terms of influence. Um, just it, if you think about it, people just trust people more right. instead of a brand. Because brand, you know a brand is there to make profits. Even though they have some CSR, corporate social responsibility, they're there to make money. But influencers, they're, they're, there's a few things that they really want to do. It's one, to grow, grow their, their brand, their social presence, and to for good as well, like, right. like empowering people, building a community, helping small businesses, um, helping marginalized people have a voice, all kinds of stuff. So I think yeah, but how do you now trust? Because in the early days, we trusted everybody because there was no dashboard, there was no way to, mm -hmm. to, to analytically see who was faking it. Mm -hmm. But now we know we can buy fake, well, before it was fake views, but now you can buy yeah. real humans. Mm -hmm. You know, every statistic can be challenged, YouTube views, Instagram reach, you know, Twitter followers. So where do we have the credibility of an influencer mm -hmm. and guys like Grant Cardone to Kevin O'Leary now mm -hmm. were all influencers that was selfish and, and, and self-motivated. Yeah. So this is a good point because it, it, it is, especially nowadays, so many people, basically anybody that has a skill can go on social media and then become an influencer. Right. So there's so many influencers now that exist, and I understand it's hard to like yeah. determine who's credible. Um, but I think nowadays um, the biggest like accountability factor for influencers is social media. Right. Because that's where they're growing their brand. Right. And their their presence, and it's also the place that could immediately kill their presence. So uh, there's little room for, for fakeness. Exactly. Basically, could people call you out? Exactly. One of the things Max is working on is looking at an influencer strategy, potentially, I'm still not sold on it, for a schoolio, right? Who is a schoolio influencer? Is it mm -hmm. the mom? Is it the teacher? What, what, are you, what are you working on? Yeah, so we want to find someone that relates to the most amount of people that would benefit from us. Right. So I think the biggest thing about an influ in influencer is that they relate to you. And because they have that relatability, you have that trust. Like there have been so many times where I relate, like for example, it may, it may not be visible now, but I actually have Tourette's. And I, I used to watch this Twitch streamer, Sweet Anita, who has Tourette's. And even though she has it, she still played games. She oh, doesn't wow. care what people, she still doesn't care what, what people like said about her, anything like that. And I would 100% if she said, I like this product, I'd be like, I like it too. Right. You know, just because we relate on that level. There's something about knowing that this person's like me right. that just makes me fall in love with them. So for somebody who, who no longer believes in the influencer market, how can you maybe defend the position of influencers with a couple of tips on how to identify an authentic influencer mm -hmm. versus a fake ass? Yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> I think now it's, it's quite easy for you most people will do their research just on their on the people's social media handles i think 
Um, like, how are you spending time validating our influences if we choose to? Go yeah, back? I'm actually doing research on these people. Like, I'm going to Google. I'm seeing if there's any scandals, any allegations, any e even anything like before they became influencers. What were they doing? You know, were they scamming? Were they doing a job that doesn't completely does not represent what they're doing now? Because all of that kind of creates the identity of the person. Right. Um, so that's kind of like my process and it's really easy to do now because we have our phones right here yeah you just search like you know the logan the logan paul whole controversy yeah we can easily see oh this person has been canceled once for this okay there's a reason why they're canceled and boom there's something he's doing something else he's scamming other people and you can easily find this online like everybody talks about it everybody so talks especially if it's like a scam you know like right. what he's doing everybody talks about it, it blows up and that's it like there's All nothing right. else you can do about that. Well, listen, I'm still on the fence. Max <laughs> is, you know, uh, pushing forward on identifying influencers for us on LinkedIn, on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook. Where are these relatable people who have a community that trust them and are genuine? Mm -hmm. uh, we'll see what you come up with. Um, but I think there's an argument for both. And maybe I'm a little, you know, disillusioned because I grew up into this category when influencers were the shit. Mm -hmm. And then there were the worst. And then there were the... You know, so I'm looking forward to seeing what you're coming up with. And if you're doing influencer marketing, comment below on how are you vetting, how are you processing people when it's so easy to fake in today's world or yeah. easy to get caught. So Max, thanks for being on of course. What You Think Wednesday. We want to know what you think on this topic. Comment below.